Once you have downloaded all the templates for the items you want for your game, you will right click on the template file and then choose to open the file in the imaging editing program of your choice. You will then see the template open in your program. We do not recommend making the image file in the program, then adding the template. The template is the exact size needed for the item, including bleed. All templates are set at 300 dpi, and all measurements are in pixels. When designing images for our cards, you will want all important information within the blue dotted safe zone. All information between the blue dotted safe zone and the red cut line, this is where the item will be cut, is not guaranteed to be printed. Everything outside the red cut line is the bleed zone. You will need the background of your image to fill the bleed zone. If you do not fill the bleed zone, you run the risk of drift causing the unprinted area of your card to show. If you make a mistake and do not fill the bleed zone, you will probably be disappointed in how your cards look when you get them. So please, make sure to complete this step correctly. If you have any questions about bleed, please read our help documentation for bleed. If you still have questions, please ask someone in our chat channel, Facebook group, or email our support team. All printed items on the site can have up to 1 8 of an inch of drift. This is an acceptable variance for all manufacturers in the board game industry. This is just the nature of using mechanical equipment in manufacturing. And so, it is important to design your components to be drift tolerant. This is why you need all important information to be within the blue dotted safe zone. Here is an image created using the template. All the important information is within the blue dotted safe zone and the background goes to the edge of the image past the red cut line. Please be aware that we do not recommend using borders on images with our site. Borders exaggerate any drift that occurs, which is why we don't recommend using them at all. Once you have created your images, you will need to either hide or remove the template. The site does not need the template to know where to cut the cards, and if the template is left on the image, it will be printed with the image. Then, you'll want to export the image as either a JPEG or PNG. We recommend using PNG.